Whew, okay, that was an interesting CES, but let's find out some of the best tech we saw at CES 2022. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we are back from CES 2022, and we got to walk around the boots, see some companies that we like, see some companies that weren't there, and we saw a ton of really interesting stuff. And this video is going to showcase some of the best tech that I saw at CS 2022. And we've gone ahead to partner with Intel, who is actually the first company we checked out at the show. Now, Intel announced 12th gen for laptops. And you're going, okay, what's so special about 12th gen laptops? Well, let me tell you, there's a ton of things that I find truly exciting with 12th gen laptops. First off, we saw a lot of devices from different OEMs that are powered by Intel's 12th gen processor, both the P-series and the H-series. Now, starting off with what we saw from Dell, with the Dell XPS 13 Plus, this is an Intel Evo laptop that now has a 28-watt processor, better performance, really unique sleek styling, of course, Thunderbolt 4 support, as well as Wi-Fi 6E, which all are housed within that SOC for the 12th gen processor. Now, we've also saw some really exciting things from Razer. Now, Razer showcased their 14 and 17 inch laptop, which are using the Intel uh, 12th, gen, 12th gen H processor. And this allows for just faster gaming performance, up to 40% uh, faster performance all around, 28% uh, higher in terms of gaming performance, which has me totally excited. So I can't wait to get my hands on those devices. Now, what's really intriguing with 12th gen processor is not just the extra performance that we've seen this year, but also the kind of form factors we're getting that extra performance in. We saw that with the Asus ROG Flow Z13. Now, why I like this is this is a gaming tablet. This is achieved by pairing performance P cores and efficiency E cores with intelligent workload prioritization and management distribution through Intel's Thread Director. The new Intel Core i9 12900HK improves system performance across single and multi-thread applications like games. Bringing the H processor to the Evo line is something that I didn't expect to see, and I'm excited to see more of that. So stay tuned, guys, because I'll be getting devices pretty soon, and I'll showcase more about those devices for you. But definitely use the link down below if you want to find out more about Intel's 12th gen processor. Now, other companies showcase some really cool, innovative stuff at the show, including BMW with the iX Flow concept vehicle. Now. What's so special about this? Well, it simply changes color. Have you ever seen a car that can change color at will, or at least at a touch of a button? You can switch between white, black, or gray, any of those three variants, and it is truly impressive. It does this by with an e-ink wrap around the vehicle, and it can control the way the colors are changed. Now, we spoke to BMW on the show, and they said it is possible for them to have different color variants, so I can't wait to see cars that are driving down the street and just changing colors. Hopefully that happens pretty soon. Now, moving from cars to something I didn't expect, John Deere came and actually shocked us at the show. They announced their first fully autonomous tractor. Yes, the tractor is autonomous and self-driving. And you're thinking, like, how and why is that important? Well, you think about it this way. A lot of farmers have a lot of uh, farmland to cover and the ability to have the tractor go out and do the job for them is really impressive. Now, John Deere said the, uh, the tractor can actually run autonomously for about eight hours uninterrupted and has uh, camera systems around it, a GPS uh, system built in, so it knows its boundaries, it knows where it is, it just knows its location uh, according to, of course, their GPS tracking, which is great. Now, this can be done directly from an app. And from what I heard from uh, John Deere is that you can actually have up to 12 tractors that you can control. So if you've got a large farm and you want to, of course, uh, do more uh, as just one individual, you can easily do it with this tractor. And it's actually coming out this year in 2022, later, later half of the year. So I'm excited to see how that actually performs because this is a, an autonomous tractor. It reminds me of just the movies, which is truly impressive. Now, our last two devices come from Samsung, and Samsung came to the show to showcase some really cool stuff. Now, the very first one is the Samsung Freestyle. Now, this is a device that 
First of all, it looks like a regular projector, but also it's just so much more. It's got 180 degree tilts, which means you can actually put the projector up on the screen. You can point it in different angles and it's got one of the best autocorrect uh, keystones I have seen on the market. Whether you're an off angle or it's slightly imbalanced, it will autocorrect the image for you. Now that image goes from 13 to 100 inches, which is great. And Samsung has a ton of accessories and one of them I, absolutely love is the ability to connect this projector to a light bulb socket and you can project it directly from that socket which is impressive so you've got many ways to use this projector and it's something that i think will be fun a lot of people will definitely pick up and i am excited to see that so if you want to find out more or pick yours up because you can pre-order it now use our link down below and finally the last device that truly shocked me at the show was the Samsung Odyssey Arc. Now the Odyssey Arc is a 55 inch gaming monitor. Yes, I repeat 55 inch gaming monitor. And now this has a thousand hour curve radius, which means you can sit right in front of it and you can cover the whole spectrum with your eyes without having any kind of discomfort. I felt really comfortable sitting in front of it, but it was truly impressive, not just because of that size, but also the fact that you can split the screen. You've got a, a mechanical dial, which allows you to go from uh, 32 by nine, 16 by nine, 21 by nine, whatever aspect ratio you choose. You can also have, have multiple sources, so you can have a game on one uh, screen. That's pretty much a 32 inch uh, display in that 55 and you can have your friends you're chatting with you can have a live stream on another on another screen plus you can lift this up and rotate it and you have it in portrait mode that basically gives you this long display so whatever use case you want to use it for this uh, gaming monitor has it. Now we don't have full details on some of the other specs, so I don't know the refresh rate. I do know it's a 4K display. I don't know how many ports it will have. All those details will come later. Samsung says Q2 of 2022. Now, honestly, uh, those were quite impressive things we saw at the show. I liked everything from the monitor all the way to the plethora of 12th gen Intel uh, based laptops that will be coming out. I really like the fact that there is a gaming tablet that actually has a 12th gen H processor. So for me, that's really exciting. So if you wanna find out more about the 12th gen processor, as well as also any of the devices, definitely use the links down below. And this is why I say thank you very much, guys, and always enjoy your entertainment.